Good morning, girl. Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Today my goal is to get this truck out on the road. We've been working on it for, let's just say a year now, and I wanna take you guys out and, and go to town. I gotta go to the hardware store and I'd like to take this truck. But before I can do that, because there is always a catch, I've got an oil leak that's started on this thing. Yeah, I'll show you that uh, I need to fix first. So let me show you where I believe that it's leaking and uh, we'll fix that and then we will hit the road in the truck that we built over the last year. It's gonna be exciting. I can't wait to drive this thing. Can you see how excited I am? So this thing has decided that it wants to leak at the harmonic balancer. I'm almost certain the rubber seal at the harmonic balancer is leaking. You know, not that big a deal to change. Luckily, these are easy to work on. So we're going to tear down the front of this engine, the, the vast majority of it anyway, and uh, pull the timing cover and see if we can't replace that seal. in the bucket. Well, for the most part. Oh gosh, no. I wasn't getting it in the bucket. Man, I've made a huge mess already. I love the way the drain on these is positioned in a way to where it pours all over the steering box, bounces off the leaf spring, splashes all over everything, and then half of it makes it in the bucket. So in the past, when I was a young guy, because I was lazy for one, and for two, because I was trying to make money working on stuff, I would remove the bare minimum of parts in order to get to the piece that I needed to repair. And, uh, you know, because I thought I was saving time, and sometimes I did, sometimes I saved a lot of time by not removing a starter or whatever, alternator, or something that was in my way. But sometimes that would come back and bite me hard and I'd have to do the job twice because I was working in an uncomfortable position, I couldn't see the, thing that I was working on well, and I've learned over the years, for me anyway, that it is just better to take off everything, you know, just suck it up, right? Take off everything that's in your way, do the job one time, you know, even though I'm doing this one twice, you know, and just, uh, just do it as good as you can the first time and be done with it. You'll get more consistent work that way. You may not be faster, but, you know, if you get everything out of your way, it is better. So the harmonic balancer seal is definitely bad. Let me get you a little closer shot of it. You can see it's dirty around there. And uh, let's see if I can point that out. Good. You know, you'll see it better when we get it off. But 
the lip either folded in when I put the harmonic balancer on or maybe this aftermarket cover is just not aligned properly with the crank who knows right so definitely a leak there and uh, we gotta replace that gasket So I'm not exactly for sure you caught what I did there. Just took a carriage bolt. This is a stainless steel carriage bolt. And I ground down one side. That way I had enough clearance to where between the crankshaft that went through the center of this and the edge of the seal where I could get in there and just kind of wedge it in there tight. Where it grabbed on that lip of the seal, kind of. Then used a pry bar on the end of the crankshaft on this bolt and pulled out the seal, right? Just to avoid removing the timing cover itself, because that's another another job. And the timing cover's not leaking, it's just the seal. And I don't, I'm not for sure what happened. Maybe I just rolled the lip and I pushed the timing cover on, who knows. But that was the problem, and uh, not the cover itself. Cora, what are you doing? You're out there chasing ground squirrels. Don't you know the rules? Haven't you been told? You gotta leave the squirrels alone. If mom sees that, well, you're gonna be in big trouble, girl. Big trouble. I won't tell her. You know, leave them ground squirrels alone. So let me quickly give you my thoughts on what I think happened and why this failed. I always like to look at things that fail and find out why, because if I just was to just put this together, never understanding what happened, well, I'm likely to repeat that in the future, or, you know, I just don't learn anything from it. So I always like to investigate and see why, why it failed. Now, what I think is that the snout of this harmonic balancer well, I know it had a coating on it because I just polished that off. I didn't clean that off when I originally put this together, obviously. And I think that the clear lacquer, the anti-rust lacquer that was put on this, you know, from the factory, uh, I think where that was left on here, that lacquer broke down and, you know, caused a bunch of friction in this seal and ate it up. That is what I think happened. Something else that could have happened is when I put this together originally, you know, I rolled that lip in. There is a outer lip here. I rolled that in on itself and it just over time created a little friction and broke down. Possibly. Seal could have been defective. I don't think that was the case. Another issue or another potential uh, failure point is that aftermarket timing cover, if it wasn't machined properly, the output hole isn't concentric with the output shaft of the crank or the end of the crank snout, you know, it would put un it would put uneven stress on one side or the other of this gasket and cause it to fail because we are burn up on one side here
but uh, you know that could have just been where it failed first. So, what do I think happened? I think it was the uh, the coating that was on this from uh, from the factory. It wasn't because of lack of lubrication on my original assembly because I put assembly lube on my gasket before I put it together. So that's what I think happened. Is that coating broke down? Burn up that gasket. So the repairs seem to be a success. You know, no leaks. No, no, not at this moment, but it didn't leak right off the bat uh, the first time. It 
you know, I idled this thing around here forever and it never started leaking until just the other day. At the moment, our repair is not leaking. I've got the reservoir coolant full, fans are working the way that they should. Let's button this thing up, take a trip to town. I guess everything's good.
so the test drive on this truck went pretty good, actually. Me and Elizabeth took it out a few nights this week. You know, no real surprises or anything other than uh, we do have a leak that developed, an oil leak that developed at the back of the intake. It was also leaking at the transfer case. I fixed those, I mean, or I fixed the one at the transfer case. It was no big deal. Still leaking at the back of the intake. You know, other than that, fixed a few rattles and stuff. And so far, so good. So me and Elizabeth decided after we we went and picked up a hot water heater with this truck because our, our hot water heater decided it wanted to bust and spray water all over the house. So great first job for this truck to pick up a hot water heater. We also picked up an interior door that we needed for the house. And we decided we'd just relax one night and take a ride with this thing. We've yet to go out on a... We're, we want to go on a date right? Go out to eat and stuff in this truck, seeing as I've worked on it so hard and we've been planning on it so long for the last year. You know, we really wanted to do that, but we just haven't had a great opportunity to, so we decided we'd just go out and cruise some of the back roads down here at the house. Uh, we've got some windy little back roads that are pretty scenic, and I'll take you guys along with. You know, some of these roads you'll, if you're not familiar with Kentucky roads, you know, you'll be surprised that they're even roads, more like more like driveways, really, than roads, but you'll see. Uh, coming up here real soon.
Well, I would consider those test drives, it was actually a couple days there, a big success. I was expecting to have far more little issues with this thing than what I really had. Now, I didn't show myself stopping multiple times to let the rear axle cool down and all that because it does have a new uh, ring gear, ring and pinion in it. So I had to take it really easy on this thing, but taking it out for the first time, really getting it up to temperature, you know, that kind of shows the, where the weak spots are, right? We were leaking at the harmonic balancer seal. We fixed that before we went out, but then we developed a leak at the back of the intake. I guess it just didn't seal that up good enough when I stuck this engine together and now it's seeping. So that'll have to be fixed and nothing goes perfect for me nor for most people. So, right, that's to be expected. Also, I didn't show it, but the four wheel drive on this thing's not working. I stopped in the road, put it in front wheel drive and you know, I've got a hub not kicking in proper. So there's that as well, but no exhaust leaks. The engine's running strong. It's not smoking. You know, it doesn't have any excess blow by or anything. I really think that we're, we're good as far as the engine is concerned, you know, uh, structurally. A few little rattles and stuff. Like I mentioned, none of the interiors in this thing are bolted down. So there was quite a bit of that. Also, uh, I noticed I was getting a really heavy rattle in the front end every time I would hit a bump. And it was a bit concerning because it was quite loud. So I pulled the truck in here after the first time we drove it, pulled it in. I plugged my laptop into this thing and uh, it was throwing a code that was, what was it? P0079-112, which on this truck uh, is a front suspension control module, which it 100% has. So I crawled up under it to see where this rattle was coming from. And I uh, come to find out the, uh, the mechanic who installed this front axle forgot to tighten up the upper two shock bolts, both of them, and they were rattling like crazy. So fixed that. And uh, other than the leaks, we're good to go, I think. And now I can use this truck. And one day, hopefully this coming week, me and Elizabeth can actually go out on a real date and have some time together, you know, and just enjoy all of the work that I've put into this truck and just cruise around. But so I was glad to take you guys with me. Thanks for watching, you know, all the videos that I've done on this thing. It has really been quite the adventure. So that is it for this week anyway. Thanks for watching. Viewers, patrons, subscribers, and anybody who's helped me out whatsoever is much appreciated. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>